Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school shark. Enjoy. Old school shark. Now this is going to be done on iPad Pro in Procreate. And we use four layers as usual. So you've got sketching, line work, shading, colour. So you're going to start with sketching, then do line work, shading, colour. So I'm going to select shake, uh, sketching. <clears throat> Get my sketching tool, technical pencil, dark red. So to start with, I want to get a rough sort of shape of it, so I want it to be nice and curved. So we're going to do this nice curve, come across this way. And then we're going to kind of make it like a bit banana, bit banana shape, so where this curve kind of comes to a point, we're going to bring this out, make it a little bit turvy, and this is going to curve back down into that line. And then curve back off of here, come around this side, I'm going to make this line so get a nice kind of curve in the body shape. And off the tip of the tail, got like a V shape. I'm going to bring a curve, curve, and curve those edges. So we've got the fin, a little triangle point just here, a little wiggle line in the middle. It's going to make that part of the fin. I'm just going to sketch in a rough line, cutting down through here like so. So it's going to cut from the top bit down into this side bit just here. Do a circle. Going to bring a little triangle bit just off the back of it, make a bit more men's, uh, menacing. Go down roughly about here, so much lower than the eye. You want the eye to sit above it. Going to make this kind of curve down. And the second curve on the lower part, just there. And then above it, we're going to have another line. This one's going to be a bit of a wiggly line. Connects out to that point. And then little triangles for the teeth. Just going to wiggle them in across, like so. Now, this line will be done here. I'm going to make this a bit wiggly until we get to about here. And then I'm going to take this line outwards, like so. Bring a line coming back, bring a line underneath to get to that line again, and it's going to pick that up and go to the bottom. So basically sort of creating the fin out of it. Now we're going to do this sort of like curved triangle bit on his back now. Just there. And then we're going to have three slices for his gills just here. And two little fin just past just there. Now in the background, I want to have this kind of. Actually, I'm going to make it circular, so it's like um one of those oh, like windows on the side of. But I don't know what you call them. I really should know what you call them. Just keep going around. Hold it still. Go circle. Yeah, that'll do for now. And yeah, then the inside here, I'm going to have a line across to make like the horizon. And I'm going to have a little sunken ship, I think. So I'm going to bring a line across. One, two, three. Two little lines there. Little detail bit. Little flag on the top. And some little jaggedy bits of water just on the inside. And I might put a little flag, just make a bit old school at the bottom. So little circle, four petals, three leaves on the side. Yeah, so that's the basic shape. I'm going to have the shark sitting like right in front of everything, I think. I would normally have them sort of like inside this me popping out, which does look pretty good, but I really want to sort of show that fin, so we're going to go line work now. Select black, inking, studio pen. So we're basically going to go over everything we've just done now. Well, it's nice and chunky. Yeah, that would do. So yeah, I'm going to go over everything we've just done now with the liner.
Now, so this problem just making everything like, a bit sharper, like, a bit neater now. You know, and that's where you kind of get to play around there and make it your own as well. Like you can change little bits if you want. Skill bits. Let's get this background stuff. On the iPad Pro, if you um, draw, hold it a sec, it makes the um, curves nice and straight. Oh, sorry, not straight, nice and smooth, I should say. You don't want a straight curve, kind of defeats the purpose of a curve. So this bit I'm going to do little black dots evenly spread apart going around A little circular bit here, just like um, there you go, yeah, like a bit of a sun in the background. And again, just carry those dots. It's around the background, but. Now for the flower bit here, I'm going to come down, go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, curve out there, and then for the leaves, curve out, then curve back up, curve out, then back up, out and back up, out and back up, out and back up. Like so. I think that's it for the line work, I think. Let me just turn it off and check. Yep, yeah, just gonna do a little curve there because I want the tail bit black. Alright, he's looking nice and mean. So I'm going to select him, make him reference. So I click on reference, and then we're going to go on shading. I'm going to select the spray paint tool on here. You can select whichever one you prefer. You can use airbrush or any other one you want. And I'm going to select the selection tool up on the top left. And I'm going to select the areas I want black. 
The question is, do I want to go outside in or inside out? Let me just quickly test this. Outside in. <coughs> yeah, outside in. So I'm going to show you from the top, come down. Getting fairly close to that line, but not quite touching it. Like so. Just carry on doing this the whole way around, so a top bit. Just tell my micro a little harder just towards the center. Yeah, I like that. Then I want to do the fin at the top, so I'm going to do this black from that angle oh, to there. Just a tiny bit of black in that flower. Black on the inside part of the leaves. You don't want to go in really heavy with a black, you know, like very heavy and like end of very short. Might put just a little hint of it just across here. Nothing too much. I just want to like this is just a hint of the grey. Yeah, I like that. Right, now this background bit. It's gonna have a little black shade just randomly kind of like on the side here and one on here and just kind of fade that out. You know, I don't particularly want it connecting up to the shark. I want the light bits going towards it. I don't, like if I'd done it here, it'd be dark into dark and you kind of lose the shape of the tail. So I had the black away from the shark. I think that does it for the shading. So let's go into color. So I'm going to select the parts I know that I have made my mind up on. So I want this mouth part here red. I know I'm going to want this flower part in red. I know I'm going to want these in green. Like a darkish green and then my kind of avocado bit I still like to do on the edge. Oh, I could call cool it avocado, it's kind of avocado brown. This background part, let's select yellow. That sun, I'm also going to do yellow. This background bit here, I think I'm going to do like sunset, so I might select red again. And either go bottom up or Top down, I haven't decided yet. We'll just bolt it in. Yeah, top down, I like that. So, yeah, come from the top down and kind of fading out towards the bottom bit. Now let's get slightly C bits. Got this blue, I'm going to turn it down. I don't want it to be very strong. You know, this from the bottom and from the top, I think, and create like a little highlight just going down the center part. And then back to the yellow, so I went yellow for the eye. And then red right inside the gills. You can erase that little bit in the middle if you want. And I think that did a trick. That's how you draw an old school shark. I mean, you can make a shark blue or different colours or put a bit in there, but I like him being traditional colours like that. But yeah, I hope that helps. I hope you like it. Don't forget little gappy bits like I've missed out. There. And there. That would have bugged me. Right. So yeah. That's how you draw an old school shark, people. I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my videos. And a broken puppet. And I will see you next time. Peace.